You're such an asshole! Sure, I'm right. You can write too, and I'll do the Professor Kelp impersonation. Wow! Hi, Clary. After spending my 20s job hopping, I landed myself a junior software development job at the age of 30. Awesome. The job's challenging and very fulfilling. I'm already six months on the job and constantly feeling exasperated and swamped by the amount of new things I have to learn. Is this normal or am I just not able to hold on to a job? Please advise. So I say, okay. I always like to know what your raw potential is. So I say, okay, what's your, uh, what's your IQ? And then if you haven't been able to handle it, have you been able to keep a job for six months? He says, uh, hey, I did the test. I got an IQ of 124. No excuses. No excuses. Dude, you're doing fine. Absolutely doing fine. Um, this is why I do the video. Nobody, no, but don't, don't try until you're 30 because no one takes you seriously until you're 30. Now you're 30, you're 35, I said, but you're 30. All right, it took you 20 or 10 years of, of being an adult to finally have someone, which is early. Uh, but now you actually are being challenged. What would you prefer? Would you prefer all the jobs? Die? How many jobs did you have when you were job hopping where there was like maybe an actual hour or two of real work and the remainder of the six hours you had to go and act like you were working? What's more draining? At least here you have a, phys a mental challenge, you're stimulated, you're occupied, and you're learning new shit. Well, that's only going to help down the road when you got to get yourself another job or your career or you know, any other future jobs that you're going for. Um, and so if this is just the first time you've been challenged, which I would say there's a pretty good chance this is maybe the job for you. This is maybe where you belong, all right? Because, I mean, you said you like it too, right? The job's challenging and very fulfilling. Do you know what percentage of jobs are like that? Fucking less, less than 1%. I mean, there's, it's just not, it's just not that. So, I, you know, let's say you're exasperated and swamped. Go talk to your boss and say, look. I feel exasperated and swamped. Am I keeping up? Am I holding up my end of the bargain? And they'll appreciate that. And they'll let you know. And if they say, yeah, you're doing fine, then it's all in your head. It's just you being challenged for the first time. Um, if they say, no, you got something to work on, and I'm, okay, well, then maybe you got to work on it. But with an IQ of 124, you should be able to pull this off, right? Now, this doesn't mean you slave your ass away and become a fucking, you know, the corporate bitch where they take advantage of you. That happens, too. But when you say it's challenging and fulfilling and you're learning new shit and it's in the STEM field, it doesn't get any better than that. It's like you're saying, well, I got a girl who's cute and red hair and dimples and long legs and, and is really nice and gives me blowjobs, but she only has C cups. You know, like, it doesn't get better than that, you idiot. So, anyway, I think you're doing fine. Talk to your boss just to make sure, but you do have the raw potential to, to certainly do this job. So, be happy. That's what I'm saying, because it doesn't get any better than that. Toodles.